Hey, what's going on? YST here. Welcome back to another Free to Clan Boss episode. Today we are in episode 7 and we are on day 21 of the Free to Play account. And guys, the progression has been absolutely insane. As you can see on screen right now, we've just placed in the gold arena on my third ever arena reset. I've been pushing extremely hard for this, but it's definitely possible and these tier bonuses... They've been adding up really good for me in the clan boss. And also you may have seen in the thumbnail, but we've started to hit the brutal clan boss. So we're going to collect up that reward today as well. I've actually been doing it since day 18. We're day 21 at the moment, but I find it hard to do daily content on the free to play account. But I do grind it every single day behind the scenes. And then on top of that, shard pools guys, we're going to be pulling some shards today. And I'm excited to try and get some new champions. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so gold one, my first ever gold chest. Let's go. An ancient shard and that's going to be really good. And then we got some 45 gems. Let's go. Flat stats. Why Polarium? Please don't do it to me. Um, defense, resistance and crit rate. Divine critical rate set. I'm going to keep that. <sighs> one day I'm going to get some nice speed boots from the arena. So yeah, gold one. I've just been attacking teams like this. And even teams like this to be honest. So like if I was to go into here. I'm probably going to lose now now that I'm trying it. But what I tend to do is decrease defense and attack with Stagnite. Put my increased attack and then smack down with my A4. And then I have ascended my Deacon Armstrong now so I get the double hit. And then I like to use this ability to just... Oh, I put the wrong one. <laughs> I'm supposed to click the A2 there. So okay, we should be fine. Yeah, this should be a win. Let me just click auto now. But yeah, this is what I've been doing, guys. Facing people that I know I could probably win. Nine times out of ten. Pushing up in the arena and hopefully we can get to go to very soon. The rest of these teams here probably can't be at the moment. Okay, so heading into the tag team arena. The teams are relatively easy, but the points to push to bronze two is bonkers. I've been hitting almost every single team I see. And I still can't push to bronze two. But let's just collect this up. And I've been buying my Drexar fragments to push me towards that. I don't know when I'm going to get a legendary. Is it going to be today? We're going to find out very soon. And before we get into the clan boss run, let's just start off with some shard pulls, eh? Um, head into 808. Okay, so the reason that I'm pulling right now is I need food, guys, and I also need champions to start forming my team together. And legendaries, yes, they're amazing, and there's loads out there. But let's be honest. If I wait three weeks for a 2x and I don't get a legendary, I've just slowed down my progression for about two to three weeks. And But yeah, guys, if you are free to play, I do kind of recommend to save for your 2x events. But on this account, I'm going to take the curveball and I'm just going to go for it right now. If we get all rares, it's not the end of the day. I need food for my champions to get more rank 60s. So let's go. My first ever temple on the free to clan boss account. We start with the epic, two epics. All right. It's looking like a 2x. Alright, so Banshee, Hill Nomad, any of these guys. Oh, Coffin Smasher. He's really solid, but do I need him at the moment? He's one of the champions that I wanted at the very start, but now that I've got Aox to remember, I don't know if I need him. Crimson Helm, do you have the increased defense? Okay, so Crimson Helm. This is very interesting, guys, because I did really want to increase defense champion. But it's on a four-turn cooldown, which... Oh, why did they do that? Then decrease attack on A1, attacks four times at random, chance of placing provoke and block damage. Okay, so he's probably not going to get much use, guys, to be honest. I kind of wish that was on a free turn cooldown, because then he would have been really viable for me. Then we got this one here with some continuous heals, revives, Mistress of Hymns, a bit underwhelming there. Come on. Lego, Valkyrie. Of course not, and we get a Guardian. I did look over his kit before, but... He actually helped me with one of the challenges. Void Shard. Cold Heart. Give it to me. Cold Heart. I probably had about four Void Shards on this account and I've had this guy like two to three times already. Actually, let's just head into the daily logins because I didn't actually show you that yet. So, day 21. We're heading into day 22 soon and hopefully that this banner pays off with some accuracy or something for my A4. And heading into the champions here, you can see that Frozen Banshee. Rank 60, fully ascended. We got fully booked on this champion and we got four masteries here so we've got an offense tree heading down to war master then we got the support tree just trying to get some cycle of magic then we got master hexer and then we got sniper and then artifacts wise we've got the life steal set i've still only got a three star speed boot but it is what it is i have to do it to make the set and then we got defense percent and we got accuracy on the chest plate because that poison 
It works out really good in the clavos for me at the moment. Then we got defense here, and then we got defense here. Really good in my opinion. I found a bit of spider and I got a bit lucky. And then heading into, if it wants to let me, Aethel. We got the speed, we got the lifesteal set. We finally got an amulet, not a banner yet, but we got defense here. Defense here. I haven't rolled them up fully, I'm just waiting for an artifact enhancement event. She's fully booked as well. Mastery is the very same to Frozen Banshee, but I've got the defense tree. Then I've got Giant Slayer for that triple hit A1 that I spoke about in the previous video. Stagnite, we've just got him up to a rank 50 now. And he's fully booked, guys. This skill, fully booked. This one, I'm not going to waste some books here because I do not need this at the moment. And I've been focusing it into Deacon Armstrong. So we've got damage plus 5 here. I tried to get the cooldown. I didn't manage to get it. Did I put any books in this guy? I haven't, no. But yeah, Aeox to remember is in Stalwart, which reduces AoE damage by 30%. I need this guy to stay alive to keep those heals up on my champions and apply the decreased attack over time alongside Stagnite, who does the drop defense as well, as well as Deacon Armstrong, who also applies that decreased defense on the A2. And hopefully we can book this guy over time now that we're hitting the Brutal Clan boss in a 3 to 4 key. And Masteries, I'm saving up some gems. Just need 15 more. And then we're there. All right, so let's head into the clan boss here. Let's see what we can do. So can we get the gems for the masteries? Come on. All right, I'm just gonna have to keep that five star epic and another shot. Speed boots, come on. I've actually had some really good chests recently, so I can't really complain. But shall we get into a clan boss run now, guys? No, I did something I really wanna show you guys first. So in the doom tower, if we head up here, I'm on stage 40 and I'm stuck. I cannot beat the Scarab King. It's too hard for this level of account, so any free-to-play player, if you don't have a good viable shield champion, this is pretty much impossible. Unless you can have someone to survive long enough, you can maybe solo it in a destroy set. But for me right now, I can't do it. But this one, I actually managed to do it without any cleansers, which kind of surprised me as well. Shall we just try it out, guys? Let's have a look. All right, so I pretty much just clicked auto here. But the thing that made me win it is, I killed the spiderlings. I don't know how long the turn was to like revive them or something. We have a look now. But I did do it in the first time. I just completely wiped them out, focused on the spider, got out of the way and carried on with the doom tower to get some extra rewards. So come on. All right. Hopefully we can just beat this the first time again. Oh God. All right, so what I did was I'm not going to do the AoE yet because it's April that does it. So we're just focusing here on the spider. Hopefully get a leech on. Nope. Some poison sensitivity on. Hopefully a poison can land. Nope. That was a fail, guys. My god. Alright, so hopefully we can still win this. Just wipe you lot out. Click auto. So how long is it till they revive? So they got one turn. Oh god, come on. They should be okay as long as Aethel gets another AoE attack. Now oh, here they come again. Alright, let's put this on again. Heal back up. And we should be fine to go again. This is what I've been doing to do it. So if you're stuck on stage 20, maybe you could do something like this and it'll work out for you. But look, now we've got two turns of no revives. We're good to go. We're probably going to win now. We'll get into a clan boss run straight after this, guys. I've been excited to show you my brutal damage and where I've got to. So in first week, we got to easy and normal. Second week, we got to hard. And now on the third week, well, just before three weeks, I've got to brutal. I'm doing it consistently. It doesn't really matter about affinity. You're going to see that in the run anyway. Oh, no. Alright, we're going to have to do another AoE here. So yeah, this is kind of what I've been doing. Hopefully this can help you out if you're stuck on this. So, let's head into a clan wash run now. No, we don't want to do it there. Head into Brutal. And okay, so we got the Deacon Armstrong in the lead, who's now ascended, who can take the extra turns. We've got Frozen Banshee, rank 60, fully mastered. We've got Aethel, fully mastered. Then we've got Aeos to Remember and Stagnite. Let's go. So it kind of varies between 5.5 to 8 million. Some, the highest I've ever seen was 8.6 million. So it really does just depend on RNG. So I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the run. I'll come back to you towards the end.
all right so there we have it guys at 6.77 million damage dealt not the worst in the world and we got 4.5 million on frozen banshee 1.8 million on aethel and the rest are just there to keep us going as long as possible decrease attack the healing the extra turns the extra turn meter all of that stuff does add up to the extra damage but hopefully if we get an increased defense champion in the future i'm going to be able to push maybe nightmare in the next week or two I'm gonna say two weeks because the jump is pretty big because right now we're only three to four king this grandmaster chest which just isn't good enough to make that push to nightmare yet so 39 million here that's kind of a bit out of the way but I'm gonna start focusing on some masteries and maybe focus it into Aox or Deacon I'm not too sure yet I haven't made up my decision on that one but in terms of the great hall here the development's going really good so we got attack here we got defense and then we got the accuracy I've got a three into this one then we've got two on here I'm gonna push this maybe to free for that challenge. And in terms of the challenges, these ones are almost done. I just have to upgrade three bonuses to level five and stay in gold for two tier rankings. So by next week, this will be done. These ones are pretty much done as well. Artifacts, I hate these ones. I can't stand them guys. I find them just completely useless. So I'm probably just gonna to have to leave that one for now. Dungeons, I need to find a champion that can remove or steal a buff from the Magic Guardian. I'll have a look through the skill sets of some champions and maybe do this one. Win a camping battle using four champions of level 50 or higher. This is pretty much done as well and then we can push towards that legendary book in the part 5 of 5. And if we head into the progress missions here, just a little update. We are on 35 out of 75 for that sacred shard. I'm not sure if it's going to be possible to get it before the 2x and I'm also very close to my quest. Where is it? So nine days on this one as well. So it's going to be really tight. I'm probably going to miss the 2x, which is a bit unfortunate. But, but hopefully a 10x event can come after that. And we pull something great out of it. So we're going to have to just wait and see, guys. But that's just going to be all for the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We've hit the brutal clan boss in 21 days. Well, 18 days. We're in gold one. And we managed to reset in it and get the rewards. We've been doing really good in the great hall. Um, the development's going really well. We're almost on our third mastery for our third champion. We've got two rank 60s. Fully booked. Fully ascended. Fully mastered. We're going to move on to Stagnite maybe. Who's also fully booked. It's going really well guys. And we haven't even got to high Katoon yet. So I'm kind of excited for the future of this account. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.